let's go over some tips for how to sew knit fabric on a sewing machine. Welcome I do sewing and DIY related content and today I'm going to be showing you how you can sew knit fabric using just your regular old sewing machine with a few tips along the way for best practices and how to go about it. So in general you have two types of fabrics. You have woven fabrics and you have knit fabrics. So woven fabrics have the fibers going vertically and horizontally so very similar to quilting cotton, may not have a lot of stretch to it like this. But today we are focusing on knit fabric. So knit fabrics have these little inner looping loops. And when you think of like knit, etc., like if you're crocheting or knitting, very similar to that. This fabric, we love it because it's so soft. Think of like your t-shirt, a sweatshirt, something that has like a nice stretch to it. It can be really great for how a garment feels, but it can be a little tricky to work with. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can actually sew with this on your regular sewing machine and provide some tips. Now, first thing, if you're using a pattern for your knit fabric, be sure the pattern actually says that you can use knits. For example, this pattern I have here, it was for pants and a shirt. It does not mention knit fabrics, it mentions stretch wovens, but not knits. It will be a lot easier, especially if this is like your first time using knits, to use a pattern that specifically talks about knits as an option. Now as far as cutting out the fabric goes, I found that you can just use regular scissors. The best part about knits is that their edges do not fray or unravel, so you don't really have to worry about finishing them off unless you really want to. But you do need to worry about how you are pinning them up. So for example, because knits do have that interwoven texture, regular pins can actually one slide out sort of easily, but also it can end up snagging the fabric. So for example, I have this pin here, as you saw it was a little difficult to get in and out. But what you want to use, if you can, is use something like a wonder clip, or you can get specially designed pins for knits. These are going to allow you to make sure that you're not snagging your fabric or damaging it. So next, talking about damaging our fabric, you want to be sure that you're using a ballpoint needle with your sewing machine. So a ballpoint needle is specifically designed for knits and it allows the fabric not to be snagged. So your sewing machine came with a regular needle, so this is for woven fabrics. There's lots of other different types of needles you can get. You can get quilting needles, you can get needles for heavy duty fabrics such as denim, leather. None of these are actually going to work that well for your knit fabrics though because for the knit you want this ballpoint needle. That's gonna make sure that your fabric isn't snagged while it is sewing through the process and make it a lot smoother. Now these needles can come in various different sizes and on the back you can kind of work through what size fabric or what type of fabric you think you have for what size needle you wanna use. For this one, I'm going to be using that middle color, so that blue, since this is like a light to medium weight knit fabric, but it just really depends on what type of fabric you're using. This will allow you to have a really nice seam and a nice finish and you don't have to worry about your fabric getting snagged. Now let's fully move over to our sewing machine. So as you know, your sewing machine has this presser foot and there's these little teeth or grooves at the bottom. And when you put your fabric in, so your normal quilt and cotton woven fabric, your sewing machine helps guide this through for you. And you can just very gently kind of go through, it does the seam and your fabric is guided through. Now for knits, because they have that stretch, sometimes the teeth can actually overstretch the fabric. So you end up getting a very bulky looking stitch that doesn't work right. So we have to worry about our presser foot up top. Now there's two different types you could really go with. There is something that's called a walking foot, which is much larger and kind of a bigger contraption that really helps to guide the knit fabric from both the top and the bottom. So you have those feet at the bottom and then the walking foot works from the top to push things through. You can also get this what I call a knit foot. This is what it said on the packaging for it. And as you can see, it's a, a lot smaller, but it does have the silver arm at the top. So let's compare this to our regular presser foot. And as you can see, they have a very similar shape that has that same shape at the bottom, but then it does have this little blue piece of plastic that helps to sort of guide the fabric, touch it from the top and move it through. And then as it goes through, it does that mimicking of the walking foot as it does have that silver arm. So when I put this on my sewing machine, you can see the silver arm is touching that little silver bar at the top. And then if I were to put this down onto fabric, let's say it fits very nicely and snugly with that top bar. And then that blue piece at the bottom would actually be pushing our fabric through as well. So you have both that guiding function from the top and bottom. Now let's talk about the stitches. So if you used a regular stitch for your knit fabric, it is not gonna allow it to have any stretch. So you wanna use a stretch stitch. So on mine, that would be three, four, or five. That'd be like your zigzag stitches. So really any type of zigzag stitch is the best way to go for a knit fabric. 
nits do not fray so you don't have to worry really about the raw edges coming undone so you could just use that zigzag stitch so now i have it set up where i'm going to be using one of my zigzag stitches i have the ballpoint needle in i have the correct presser foot and then i have my knit fabric so that it's not necessarily all the way at the end best practice is if you can start a little bit up that that works so that it helps guide the fabric a little bit more so let's do a test run so i'm just going to very slowly begin working this sewing it through and as you can see if you watch the presser foot it is going back and forth kind of doing that walking motion from the top as well as guiding it from the bottom and this is exactly what you would want we can now just keep going keep sewing with that stitch and let's see what this looks like so here is what my stitch looks like it looks very neat i did use a contrasting thread so you'd be able to see it our fabric still has that nice stretch that we wanted and everything laid perfectly if you enjoyed this video on how you can sew knits with your sewing machine be sure to like comment and subscribe and tell me what types of videos you want to see next thanks for watching